Hi, I'm Joel. I'm pastor here at Church of the Valley, and I just wanted to reach out to you to, to remind you about a certain season that's coming up. Uh, I know that we have all been in this season of COVID, right? That's probably been most familiar to us, but there are, there are also things called church seasons that we enter in and out of. You might be most familiar with the Advent season during Christmas as we go through that. But there's another important season that's upon us, and that is what we call Lent. It's a time that we find uh, our focus is upon our sin, how our sin has separated us from God, and our need for repentance. And, and so I just want to take just a few moments to introduce you to this season because we're very close, not far away. Uh, the season actually begins with what we call Ash Wednesday. And ashes in the Old Testament have been seen to be used for three different reasons, really. They've been used for mourning. You might remember the story of Jacob when he found out his son Joseph had been sold. He tore his clothes and put ashes and sat on sackcloth and, uh, as a, a sign of mourning, of uh, losing his son. Uh, but it also reminds us of repentance as well, as we see in the story of Job, Job chapter 42, 6. We see Job sitting in ashes. Uh, and also later in the New Testament, we see that ashes and sackcloth are signs of actually God's judgment. We see that in Revelation chapter 6, verses 12. So these seasons aren't just a tradition, but they actually come to us very biblically found in Scripture. And they were meant for us to travel together and end the story of God's story, which is something that for us here at Church of the Valley, we find pretty close to home as we've been traveling through the story. Uh, probably the best picture of these three things coming together, uh, mourning, repentance, and the judgment of God coming together, probably come from the actually the story of Esther. And I just want to read you a few uh, verses here. What has just happened is the king here has decreed that all the Jews are to be killed. And this is Mordecai's response in Esther chapter 4. Verses 1 through 3, it says, When Mordecai learned all that had been done, Mordecai tore his clothes and put on sackcloth and ashes. He went out into the midst of the city, and he cried out with a loud and bitter cry. He went up to the entrance of the king's gate, for no one was allowed to enter the king's gate clothed in sackcloth. And in every province, wherever the king's command and his decree reached, there was great mourning among the Jews with fasting and weeping and lamenting, and many of them lay in sackcloth and ashes. It was kind of all three purposes, as we've seen here. We, we see that there was uh, this mourning from the Jewish people, mourning their impending death, and then there was this repentance towards God, and then asking God to relent of his judgment upon them. And it was all three pulled together here underneath this sackcloth and ashes uh, activity. You might also remember the, the story of Jonah, where Jonah um, goes into Nineveh, and with that eight-word sermon, brings all of Nineveh to repentance, and even the pagan king of Nineveh sat in that sackcloth and ashes. So Ash Wednesday is the day, really, we remember our sin and how sin has disconnected us from God, and so uh, that begins on February um, 17th, Wednesday, but that begins a 40-day season called Lent. We don't count the Sundays of Lent because we believe as Christians that Jesus has been resurrected and has done away with our sin, but for 40 days between Lent, between Ash Wednesday, I should say, and Easter is when we celebrate Lent, and that culminates with the last week of before Easter where we have Palm Sunday. It's actually on March 28th this year. And then that Thursday we call Monday Thursday where we, in John 13, 34, we see Jesus saying, I give you a new command. So we see Jesus celebrating the Passover, the last Passover with his disciples there and changing that into what we celebrate monthly. That's going to be on April 1 for us. And then we have Good Friday, which we concentrate on the crucifixion of Christ. That's April 2nd. Some Churches celebrate Holy Saturday, and then Easter hits us on Sunday, April 4th. So here's the big deal. Here's what I'd like to invite you to. We're going on to begin our season on Wednesday, February 17th at 5 p.m. 
here on the church campus, we're going to have a drive through imposition of ashes. We recognize that COVID is still among us, and we're trying to be careful and pay close attention to that. But we're going to have cars drive through with church officers and leaders of the church here to give you a little container of ashes that's already in it, ready to go. And uh, we're going to ask you to, as you're the person of that car, you'll become like the little pastor of that car where you, Im you do the, the sign of the cross on the forehead of everybody in that car. And once again, you'll receive instructions, how to do that, written instructions, and hopefully this video might help. But as between 5 and 7.30 on Wednesday, uh, February 17th, you can drive up. We'll give you a little container of ashes. If you'll just take a moment to put your thumb in that and place a cross on the forehead of everybody in the car and you as well. And then we're also, from that point, if you'll drive over to a place where we'll have prayer stations. So if you would like to pray with somebody, you might be able to do that. And then that'll be our imposition of ashes. That'll be our Ash Wednesday service for, for this year that will then lead us into a season of Lent. Now we got some more exciting things coming, like a Monday, Thursday service, a Good Friday service, and of course Easter. Uh, but those are going to be coming to you later. We just wanted to get this to you quickly right now to, to let you know how to do Ash Wednesday and that we wanted to get this, get you ready for this time and season of the church. Uh, as always, I'm, uh, I'm here for you. I love you. I hope you're doing well uh, as you battle this current season of COVID. But just keep in mind, COVID it has no uh, effect on heaven. And uh, as we as believers step into this, we're not going to stop observing Christ in everything and all that we do. So I hope this is helpful to you. I look forward to seeing you Wednesday, February 17th through the, the drive through imposition of ashes. God bless you. And please know that I'm always praying for you. Bye.